Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to be looking at the Dust Devil spell. It is a second level Druid, Sorcerer, and Wizard spell. Choose an unoccupied five foot cube of air that you can see within range. An elemental force that resembles a Dust Devil appears in the cube and lasts for the spell's duration. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the Dust Devil must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 1 die 8 bludgeoning damage and is pushed 10 feet from the Dust Devil. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and is, isn't pushed. As a bonus action, you can move the Dust Devil up to 30 feet in any direction. If the Dust Devil moves over sand, dust, loose dirt, or light gravel, it sucks up the material and forms a 10 foot radius cloud of debris around itself that lasts until the start of your next turn. The cloud heavily obscures its area. And then at higher levels, you get one more die 8 for damage. So let's look at this. This is a, quite a wordy spell. I've got all the pieces put together for us. So we're using the default template. Creates a table with a title row. That's where name equals. And then each row is surrounded by double braces. So the first row is range 5 foot cube within 60 feet. Second row is going to be, these are just informational rows, concentration up to a minute. And then here's where we're going to determine our damage, but we're going to have to ask them what level they want to cast it at. So it says any creature that ends its turn adjacent to the cube must make a DC. We're going to go get a stat call from Kiara's character sheet and get her spell save DC right here. Strength save or take, and then we're going to ask them what level they want to cast it at. At level 2, it's a level 2 spell, so it starts at level 2. You get 1 die 8, and then you get 1 die 8 at each successive level. So if they pick 6, it's going to be 5 die 8. 8 is going to be 7 die 8. So they take that damage going to be inserted in that, bludgeoning damage, and be pushed 10 feet away from the death devil. On a save, they take half damage and are not pushed. So let's run this one. First, before we put them both in there, and we'll just run at level two. Okay, so range five foot cube within 60 feet, concentration up to a minute. Any creature that ends its turn adjacent to the cube must make a DC 17. And I do know that uh, Kiara's, we're using Kiara, that's our wizard, her spell save DC is 17. Must make a DC 17 strength save or take three. Because it rolled a 1 die 8. You can see that if you hover over it. Bludgeoning damage and be pushed 10 feet away from the dust devil. On a save, they take half damage and are not pushed. So that is correct. Let's try it at oh, level 4, which should be level 4 is 3 die 8. And 3 die 8 is correct. And then let's try level 7, which should be 6 die 8. 6 die 8. So that is working correctly. And then we just have two more informational rows after that. As a bonus action, you can move the dust devil up to 30 feet, and then this one covers the part that says if it moves over sand dust loose dirt, it creates a heavily obscured area with 10 foot radius. So let's run that whole thing. And we'll run at level four. So again, this is pretty wordy, but that's okay. This is everything a DM would ever need. This is the range concentration spell, the information about the save, what kind of save it is, what the DC is, how much damage, what type of damage, and then as a bonus action you can move it and it talks about the dirt and dust. So that is the dust devil spell and macro. I will put that in the description below. Appreciate you watching. Be great if you like and subscribe. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.